I just look at it and say, I wasn't there. I couldn't console him. Was he scared? And then he gets buried and there's no cause of death. After 13 years, a mother hopes her quest for answers and her son's death will come to an end. Uh, Dion Mack's son, Terrell Spencer, collapsed while playing basketball in 2010. Mack claims the hospital failed to perform an autopsy before he was buried. She filed a suit back in 2012, and now the body can be exhumed. Mack spoke with News 19. Mariah Wiggs joins us now to share uh, the closure she is hoping this brings. Well, Steve, several challenges and years later, Terrell Spencer's mother may finally get some of those answers. Spencer collapsed during a basketball game at the Richard Shower Center back in 2010 and was taken to the hospital, but he couldn't be revived. She says after his passing, the hospital failed to perform an autopsy despite her request. The lawsuit states Mac has paperwork to prove the hospital mistakenly forgot to follow through with the request. Now, Mac says the hospital told her the pathology lab made a mistake that resulted in a scheduling error for the autopsy and her son was buried before one could be for performed. She says years of unanswered questions and a family to look after fueled her fight for answers. There were so many underlying heart conditions that athletes and teens suffer but is not looked at through any routine physicals or you know your annual exams. And he felt that it was an important for me to get that done because he also said a lot of it is hereditary. And if I had other children, they would need to be tested and, you know, they could possibly face a similar fate. The lawsuit filed in 2012 by Mac's attorney asked for unknown damages from the hospital for failing to perform the autopsy. The autopsy will be performed sometime this week, according to Mac. It is important to remote that every death does not require an autopsy. In this case, Ms. Mac expressed her interest in getting one, but it didn't happen at the time of her son's death. We've reached out to Huntsville Hospital for response, but as of this morning, we have not heard back. Reporting live this morning, in Huntsville, Mariah Wiggs, News 19.